And speaking of great reliefs, it's time to welcome back one of everyone's favorite segments to the show, the Bufaki Breakdown with Tommy Bufaki. Hello! Hi, Bobby! Hello, uh, Etli, how are you kids? Hi. Doing good over here. Are you good? Oh Wonderful. my God. How are you? I'm very good, but you know, the country right now, the Supreme Court just made the decision about the Roe and the V and the Wade, mm. and some people are very happy, and some people are upset. So I feel bad, yeah, you know. Absolutely. Sorry, to, sorry to see you're feeling bad, Tommy. Well, uh -huh. I hate to see people uh, so upset, you know, about the issue, because you have to look at both sides of a coin. Mm -hmm. Everything in life is a coin, and the coin has two sides. And the one side says, uh, you know, kill the baby. And think about when you kill the baby, all of the babies that have died, think about maybe we could have had another Einstein or maybe a few more Beatles. Mm -hmm. You know, we're only down now to two Beatles, Ringo and Paul and Ringo, I don't know. I wouldn't say he's like a whole Beatle. He's more like a quarter Beatle. But t t Tommy, Tommy, I yes. don't know if you could say that abortions are killing babies necessarily well you know they're not uh, chipmunks i mean you know well but I, are they really babies when they're you know still in there with all the juices and stuff yeah yeah you know the juices that's what they're cooking the thing and the baby is in the juice you know just like if yeah. you put a pot roast or a chicken or yeah, something or steak, sure. the juices make the chicken and make it the baby so there's a baby here you can that's the science come on people we have the science but I see the other side too, the other side of the coin. The one side of the coin killed the baby. Oh. The other side let the baby live, let the baby live. And then maybe you have an Einstein and pick up a couple of spare beetles. But I believe the answer, I have the answer to this situation to make everybody happy. Let's hear it. Awesome to hear. You want to know? Absolutely. Let's go. You begging the Bufaki? <laughs> We're begging the Bufaki. <laughs> I'm kidding you. Okay. <laughs> the answer is simple. Uh -huh. Late term abortion. Late. Wait, wait until the kid is eight or nine years old and see what the hell you've got. Now you can make a decision based on the facts. And the kids, they know, they will know, hey, I could be aborted, you know what I mean? I better behave. They're going to be better kids, and they're going to talk to each other. Hey, Joe, how are you? Oh, bad. Uh, I think they're going to abort me because, you know, they said to be nice to my little sister. And I told my little sister, don't come into my room at night, you know. <laughs> I'm doing little experiments and things, you know. But no, she busts right through, you know, and I was too choking her. Then my mommy, then it came in. I pretend like we were dancing. You know, it was bad. But you see, the kids, if they know, they're going to be good kids. And then you're going to have to abort too many. And, and I think that could be the answer, you know. And if you have to abort the kid, at least give him a fighting chance to live. How? Let the kid run down the street and maybe mommy try to get him with the car because okay. mommy should drive because she's in charge of her own body, you know, so let her drive, you know. I, I don't I don't think that's what really what they mean by women are in charge of their bodies. <laughs> I thought it was so they can drive the car. No? But um what an interesting take on this um very yes. subject. Yes, yes, <laughs> listen to me. Uh, like I say, we're, we're missing a few Beatles. Anyway, I just want to say thank you to both of you. That's the report for tonight. And uh, happy abortions. Oh. Um, <sighs> thank thank you, you, Tommy. Thank you. Who fuck it?